Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, it's great to see you back. Thanks for joining me here today. Um, I'll introduce myself, my name's Elaine. And today I'm here uh, to do a tutorial on this, which is a lovely Valentine's Day balloon arch. Now, I picked up this balloon arch, uh, the kit, from Home Bargains, and it's in my um recent haul so I, i'll link that video down below so you can check that one out um also um yeah so without any further delay we'll jump in and let's do this so first of all we'll see what's in the box very handy a balloon pump now if you do have an um, electric one brilliant that just cuts the work in half you know but this is this is still good so one of those we have some balloons here the pink and the white balloons various sizes getting off to a great start here you guys it looks like everything's in the box so we have some red balloons here and the beautiful heart metallic ones I must add, Home Bargains did have these in other um, colours, so they had like a, a gold and white one, they had a silver and white one, you know for birthdays, they had like, um, I would say like a summer themed one, um, but it didn't have, I looked and the box was open, it was the last one, and um, the bits, some of the bits were missing, so I'm, I'm hoping that they'll get it in again, uh, but they do do various ones, they do pink and white, um, and blue and white, you know, for baby showers or whatever, or little boys, like boys or girls' birthday parties. So, and some of them were three ninety nine, and some of them were four ninety nine, and they are good to pick up the kits because, um, you know, it's it, it does um, work out quite cheap. Um, because sometimes when you buy the balloon separate, it can work out more, you know, more costly. This one's got like these lovely dangly hearts as well. So anyway, yes, and last of all, most importantly, we have the, the strip. This is what will actually make your balloon arch. Um, so if I could just find the end. Should I always have my glasses on, but I never do, guys, you know me. Right, and this is the strip. So I'll just, I hope, let's, um, okay. I'm going to, hopefully you can see that. It's just like a little keyhole. So you put the balloon in here when it's inflated at the end. You put it in and you push it down so it slots in tight. You'll see as I go on how it's done. So guys, it's time to inflate the balloons. Just stick it on the end, keep hold of it tight. Yep, yeah, and start to inflate. Right guys, so if you inflate it, just like that, and then once it's inflated, let a little bit out, because you want a more round shape, rather than a teardrop shape, you want it to be round, then you just tie it off. Tie it off like so. Right guys, these ones are a little bit more tricky. They've got like a little elastic band around the neck of them. It's literally to keep this, you know, the confetti inside. So we just pop that band off, just like that. Tommy Cooper, just like that. And then you can get the inflator in. that beautiful hearts in there and just tie it off like so
right guys for the foil ones you will see that there's a um, little opening here hopefully you can see that this little opening and what you've got to do is you've got to put your pump like that make sure it goes in in there like so and start inflating keep hold of the end difficult as you can see it's starting to look the key is don't over inflate it hopefully you can see that it's starting to stand up on its own now so you just take the pump out like that keep your hand on it and press because there is a sealing bit like a, a self sealer here so you just press where the entrance is to seal it and then that's your heart balloon right guys and as if by magic the balloons are all inflated what I've done is I've grouped them together so I've put all the bigger reds here all of the pinks together all of the clear the four heart balloons and the smaller reds ready for the next step i've got a little helper little bonnie's gear over to see what i'm doing and she's going to supervise the project aren't you mm. oh she's cute off you go no you're gonna to have to go off you go <laughs> right so guys we've got the um strip and what i'm going to do is leave about um, a foot about 12 inches length and then I'm going to start on this one so the sequence I'm going to do is going to be a red red pink red red pink and then a clear with the confetti in so we'll start off with a red I'll come closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So you put it in this bigger part. You know, I should have put my glasses on. I can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, so you put it in the bigger part. And then you just pull it like that. So it grips. Just like that. Tommy Cooper. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to miss this one out and go to the next one but our balloon as you can see this one's coming in this side we're going to put our balloon in this side and what other red bunnies enjoying the balloons so we're going to put it in like this so i'll just do that So it looks like that. And then we'll put a pink one, so we'll miss one. Put a pink one. So we'll go on the other way, we're alternating. doing here.
guys so i've alternated the balloons so i've gone red red pink red red pink then put here one of these in and continue the sequence as i said leaving the space between so now as you can see it looks a bit gappy we have balloons left so what we're going to do is in between where we've left the hole we're going to start filling in with the balloons that's left over So it doesn't really matter which way you pour it in at this point. So just start filling in the, the ones that you left out there, the space that you left out. So it's like that. So it's just a case of infilling wherever you feel you want to. So I'm going to put it one here, and maybe the one here. I think we'll go for one here. Right guys, I hope you can see this. So we've just got this long, long trail of balloons here. And we've got the metallic ones and the metallic heart ones left. What we will do is we'll put this in position. Sorry. What we'll do is we'll put this in position where it's going to go, like around a door frame or whatever. And we will stick the hot balloons on wherever we want them. Right guys, I've got all my balloons on the, the strip now. So what I want to do is I'm going to hang mine up here on the curtain pole. I'm going to use the curtain pole as the anchoring point. So what I need to do now is um, cut some string. What you'll need is a pair of scissors, some jute and some glue dots because we will be attaching these balloons once it's in position. So I'm just going to cut three lengths of jute and then I'm going to try and find the centre of my balloons. So all I'll do is I'm going to hold it up until both of the um, like that I don't know if you can see this basically you're just holding it up until the both ends are equal they're both at the same level so I think that's roughly about the point the center point so I'm going to wrap the string just around the tape and then I'm going to hang it in the center I have my trusty little stool. These are brilliant, they fold flat. You buy them from Dunelm, they also sell them in B&M. Relatively cheap as well, but they're absolutely godsend for all shorties. Up here, so I'm just gonna hang it up here. So I'm just tying it around the curtain pole. Pulling it up quite tight and just tying it off in a knot. So that's our first bit anchored. And I'm just going to check to see if the level, if both sides are level. So if we just stand back and have a look, that's 
that's near enough, that's good enough for me. So move to this side. And I think I want my arch to be about there. So again, I'm tying it around the tape. But this time, I'm not going to pull it tight. I'm going to leave it in a sort of a, so it's coming down over us. Um, so there's not quite a, I'll show you close up. Um, once it's, once I put it in, I will show you close up so you can see how I anchored it. Just to this end. And just doing the same, oops, at the same point. Sorry if you can hear my dogs in the background. so it's it's sagging a little bit as you can see here it's not a, like a perfect arch so it's sagging a little bit here and again here so I'm going to correct that I'll actually move this up so you can see it's more like square at the minute so we're going to make it a more like arch so I'll just cut another couple of pieces of jute off And I'm going to put it about here. Okay, so we'll stand back and have a look at that. Yes, I'm quite liking the look of that. So what we do next is we want to put these balloons in. So I think we've got a gap there, so I'm going to put one there. And this is where we have the glue dots. So we use these little glue dots. These did come with the um, packet with the kit. So we'll just take some of these off. Literally stick them on the balloon or actually you could stick them on that balloon but I'm going to stick them on here. So I'm just putting them on there. I'm just putting them there and a one in the centre. Hopefully you can see that where I've put them. So I put one there, one there and one here. 
and then I'm going to stick it right here. Right, so I just keep standing back and see where you want to put them. I'm thinking I want a one down on this side and maybe a one over there. Also thinking I want one on the other side. Right guys, the pack did come with them, um, you know, the kit did come with this um, to dangle sort of down here, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to use them there. We'll give them a go, see what they look like. Right guys, I've run out of glue dots, so what I'm doing is I'm just using some sellotape to put these hearts up with. So I'm literally just sticking the tape to the top of the heart and then I'm sticking it onto a balloon. Right guys, I must add, you know, the um, kind of tail bit of this balloon. Um, all I do is I tape it up at the back here, just for a piece of sellotape so it's not dangling down. Right guys, this is the arch finished. Um, I just put the five strands of the um, hearts on because I just thought that was enough. I think eight would have been just too much. I've got uh, the other three here. I might use them somewhere else in the decor. Um, yeah, it's really, really lovely. You know, for, the, for $4.99, I think you can't go wrong. It's a big statement, you know, for, for a little cost. Uh, anyway, I hope this video has been informative um i didn't manage to well i did manage to um fall off well not quite fall off the stool but um stumble a few times um in the video so um yeah if you've liked this video please give me the thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed uh, i would love if you would subscribe to my channel um it would mean a lot to me um and if you press the notification bell you won't miss any future uploads that i'm going to upload and i will be doing a few more on this valentine's theme so yeah don't um don't miss them yeah so if you like it leave me a comment in the section down below and um that's it guys so all i all i want to see is 
stay safe um, take care and thanks for joining me today until the next time bye bye